Well, it's on the SWR now. Yeah. Yeah. So if you transmit, it's uh, SWRs. Yeah, you have. <laughs> I don't. I don't do a, a thing. You'll see. Um, how much power do you? Oh yeah, there it is. <clears throat> it doesn't matter, but it's uh, probably. Uh, or you don't have much power. No, because I have a. Oh, I have a number of power at home. Oh, uh, it's uh, slightly more. But now uh, you have an SWR. You have a. SWR, okay. <coughs> now I'll change it. Well, I put <laughs> 40 watts of power. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you look at the um, uh, SWR now, yeah. you'll see it's S. It's uh, it's uh, quite five, high, yes. Five. Yeah. And you can't tune it. You can tune it. No. Normally, no. Just under three, it tunes. Anything over no, three, no, it doesn't. No. Okay, so now I'm going to change it and you can tune it. Oh, if you okay. want to see, it, it's uh, 250 ohms. Yes. About. So it's uh, it's uh, 125 SWR. It's 240. Oh, I see ohms. Yeah. Yeah. 243. No, I say 244 ohms. That's the uh, SW. Uh, that's the resistance of uh, the antenna at the moment. So if I'm going, if, if I'm changing it, you can tune this on, on all frequencies up to 70 megacycles. Fantastic! And, and how long has this modification been been on the market for? I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm getting to that age of, of you guys, my friend. I'm not so far behind. <laughs> You're not. Well, what what can you say? I, I see it's already uh, uh, in extended mode. You can uh, you, you can transmit outside the bands. That's correct. Uh, yes, yes, yes. The guy uh, modified it for me. Because yeah, because I see it, it's gone. Because I use the, I use the CB frequencies, you and do. sometimes triple five. But don't tell anybody. Well, I have to put in a resistor. It's, it's a tremendous. It's a very big trans uh, resistor. Oh, oh. And in a nutshell, what do you guys think of this ICOM 7300? It gets amazing reviews everywhere, but what do you guys think of the radio? The worst radio it's ever. It's a fine radio. <laughs> fine, your friend says it's the worst radio ever. You say it's fine. A better radio is the nowadays. Nowadays is the FTDXT. Yeah, well, this is from 2016, I believe. This so it's, the technology changes quickly. Yeah, yeah, the ASUS. I, I like ASUS, but that's not the story. You're not filming this, huh? You can't put it on it. <laughs> the modification is there. Okay, yeah, it's, just wait. It's, it's this, this little uh, component. So you've replaced it or you've taken no, it away? No, no, don't tell the story, yeah? Don't okay, you've just done something with it. I, I, I just did something with it. The rest I don't know. So now, <laughs> he, he, no, he's from England, he's using it. Uh, to no, what, what I did, I, I just put a, a resistor on top of it. Okay. So now... And is this ICOM approved? No. <laughs> it's Fedor's approved. <laughs> and I ask you now, now you've done the work. I should have asked you before the work. Now look, it didn't tune. Yeah? Yeah, it didn't tune. All right. So you still and now if I tune it, it's still uh, if, if, if I put yeah transmit. Have you an aerial? You'll see it's still oh, yeah. five. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And I put the tuner on. Uh, no, tuner one higher. On. Oh look, yeah, it's going to tune in. I know it's going to tune in. Yeah. Look at that. As I am one to one. Fantastic, fantastic. <clears throat> yeah. So oh, that's great. If you put in another frequency, like uh, 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 70 megacycles, I don't know, yeah. 70? Yeah. 70? 70 Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. uh, they do more power. Yeah. The third one, that's the one. Yeah, it will tune, yeah. Yeah. And without the tuner, what's the SWR? Oh, sorry, you're always the wrong. That's the th next one up. That's Transmit it. this one, eh? That's, that's the one. Yeah, yeah I can see it's over. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 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 that's fantastic. And, uh, 
with it, it's, it's uh, not the one. And <clears throat> it works on all frequencies, so uh, if I uh, put it on, um, say, uh, oh, uh, 1. 1. 1.8? Oh, sorry, uh, if I'm... Yeah. You think I'll do 1.8? Yeah, why not? I don't know. It would be great if it does. Uh, let's have a look. Now it's <clears throat> if I TX, yeah. You yeah, see? it's way in, yeah, yeah, it's way high. Yeah, it will tune. Yeah, once it starts clicking, okay. it uh, clicks. One Look at one. that! How fantastic! Yeah. Wow. And what's the ALC? Have you also improved, done anything with that? Not yet. Okay, that's part two of the operation. So I'll see if I can demonstrate the modification on the antennae tuner. Uh, we're on the four element Yagi, which uh, resonates very well uh, on the 10 11 meter band. We'll see 50% uh, and we can see uh, we'll get the SWR meter, which we can see quite clearly. So I'll see if I can demonstrate the modification on the AT tuner, which now just makes it wider. As owners of this radio will know that if the SWR goes over 3, the AT tuner won't tune it down. Ideally, it likes it 3 or below. But now with the modification, it goes to 4, maybe 5. But let's see if I can demonstrate. Yeah, we're on the 4 element Yagi here the 10 11 meter band which resonates quite well here let's do it a bit higher up the frequency see nobody's on oh we're getting a bit higher now so we'll go to uh oh and that's way way high we'll try a two 200 okay and you see we're in uh about four which isn't very good at all. We'll press the tuner down to nothing. Take the tuner out. Yeah, way too high. Let's go uh, to 250. Key the microphone and we can see that's uh, must be in the 4 there. Let's see if it'll tune in. And it tunes in. We can see down to nothing. So uh, let's see how much actually power it's using. We can see here. Well, it'll help if you turn the power up to 100. SWR 1.5. See, it's a good 20 amps. We'll tune it in again. Now we can see 17, flickering SWR. So it's kicking out a good full power, but if we turn the tuner off, and I can only queue up for a very short time, you can see SWR was way up here. Oopsie daisy. We'll get that back. And you can see it's been restricted to six amps. The radio is doing that to protect itself. Tuner on, lovely, lovely, lovely. That's a hundred percent power, and we can see the ampage there. So we can see a very nice modification. In my situation, it helps me a lot because I can now put my forty meter dipole tunes into the six meter band and the four meter band. So that helps me really quite well. So all in all, I think it's a really good modification. At this sort of uh, high SWR, even with the AT tuner, I wouldn't recommend speaking for too long, certainly not on 100 watts. But I, uh, I think it'll work very well. And I've, I've also got an, a new aerial, an all-bander, the HF360, which maybe you can have a quick look at. I don't have the radials yet, but I wanted the, 
the wider AT tuner, so I wouldn't have to buy an external one to get the HF360 in all the bands to resonate. Okay, I hope this has been a, a bit uh, understandable. It is 25 past nine in the morning on a Sunday. Just to show that, uh, you know, it can't do miracles, this. Uh, we'll just put it on FM. We're on the Game Master now. And my old Kenwood 450S with a built-in antenna tuner would tune a 11 meter aerial, would tune the Game Master into 20 meters. But this AT tuner, run the Game Master now. 50, we'll play this. It doesn't even want to know. I'm not going to key the microphone because the thing is going to be so high that it's not going to be good for the radio. But you can see, uh, so the modification does have its limitations. But as you can see, if your SWR is possibly up to five, then it'll bring it down. Anything higher, it'll probably struggle. I hope that's been an, inter an interesting demonstration. Over the next week or so, I'll, uh, I'll know more about it and I'll be able to do a proper check when my radials for my other aerial arrive, which should hopefully be about Thursday or Friday. Uh, speaking about the other aerial, I'll just uh, uh, show you uh, mainly the build quality. Very, very impressive. Uh, just a moment, let's see what I can do. As you can see, the ends are solid metal, which have been fixed onto the fiberglass uh, ends here, and uh, very look very very secure. Actually, quite heavy, and you can see on, on the end one, they've put some tape on just to make it uh, some heat shrink, extra secure. Very very nice uh, job there. When you think of uh, the Game Master, it just has uh, fiberglass sections with just one clamp holding it together. Uh, for 180 euros, you'd expect more. And the cat comes in the picture. Hang on, Felix. And you can see the other end, uh, the tube really just comes down. Nice thick metal piece here, which I can attach and earth. Well, a cable will go from here to all the scaffolding I have on the roof. And underneath is where <coughs> the magic happens, as they say. And the aerial goes here. It looks, uh, it, it looks nice quality up to now. This uh, it doesn't bend at all. It's, uh, it seems to be thick enough. Yeah, we'll put it all together and see how it goes. They've even put a, I'm not sure if you can see, a little end on there. So if you poke yourself in the eye, then it won't hurt so much. But a nice little touch. Not all the companies put something on the end. Like that. Uh, so all in all, it looks quite impressive. But uh, I have to wait for a week for the radials. One radial will be for 40, and the other radial will be for 80. It was help the whole aerial resonate better on those frequencies. So I've just got to wait, and that's one reason why I uh, got the radio extended with the antenna tuner. So there's now there's a very good chance this will match on every frequency, and I hope 160, but I doubt it. Time will tell. Keep you posted.